Okay, so this is what we'll be making today, some stylized smoke. Uh, I might disappear for a little while because uh, I'm starting a new position at side effects, so all the tutorials I make might be there if I make any tutorials. Anyways, so let's let's begin. Uh, this part right here, the first one, uh, was done in, uh, in Houdini, it's just a typical smoke sim, and it's rendered from one side because it's uh, just a texture. Uh, but what I did is I, because it's a flip book, I, I took it and put it in Substance Designer and stylized it because because it, it's just textures, right? That oh, it's just a texture, and then you could just like slope blur whatever, do this all that kind of stuff. Then ends up like that. It's just some extra like chunky bits, and then you export this uh, flip uh, the the uh, flip book and. You, you, you know the rest, it's just unreal stuff, you could just go in and there's a bunch of tutorials on that. Uh, yeah, same here, you could just also add an outline if you want to like uh, do this cartoony uh, uh, comic book style. Uh, okay, so the this part right here, this is uh, like a 3D thing, uh, it's, it's using uh, vertex animation textures. Uh, and this was really annoying to make because uh, if you want to mix, if you want to use vertex animation textures, you, you need a, a, a <laughs> okay. So, so you need to uh, keep the topology constant. So the point number and the UVs and the point count. So um, yeah, okay. I'll 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 explain how I did that in a bit. But let's go into it. Okay, let's start here. Uh, so first off, how, how do you even animate uh, the uh, the smoke? Uh, we could, uh, I tried a few ways. Um, so we could just draw a curve and then use the tra soft transform and animate with the soft transform and then turn that into smoke with, with a cloud and cloud noise. And now it, it does this kind of thing like it's, uh, you know when you you, uh, you see this cowboy movie or whatever, and then it's got some like little swirl or some uh, some swirl of a smoke or something, it just passes by. It's sort of that idea. Um, and another idea here, uh, this uh, was uh, looking at Ron Delvey's uh, tutorial. He he made this, just copying a few uh, spheres to a curve and then editing. Just literally edit uh, and then turn that into uh, smog as well. Uh, and, and you could make a loop, use a loop so it, it loops at the end. I, I think this works on volumes. And then you turn that into uh, topology and you export the, the, the whole thing uh, as a geometry uh, output. And another idea is I tried uh, using curves, just drawing each frame by hand. Uh, so I, I drew a bunch of, I could just add another, let's say here. Okay. So now that I have all, all of the frames, I could uh, loop over them over time. And using a, a single pass and uh, the dollar F sign times uh, whatever you want, uh, one, 0 0.1, because I want it s slower than. Okay, so it's switched between them. And you see that's the last frame here we drew. Okay, I I made a bunch of these, same, like just copy paste, change them and move them a bit, added some transforms as well. Uh, but in the end, uh, to soften this transition, you use uh, uh, chops. So now it's kind of smooth. It's not. It's not uh, snappy. Uh, yeah, with the channel, and uh, you put that to animated, chop net, filter, just a filter, like the normal filter, and then it'll do the thing. Uh, yeah, added, deleted the attributes, and here added some p scale because uh, I want them to be bigger at the top, smaller at the end, at the tip. 
VDB cloud, the same thing I just er did earlier with a cloud noise. And now we have this beautiful smoke. Uh, yeah, turn that into uh, geometry export. And now got here. Okay, so now the problem is how can we keep the topology constant? Because I want this uh, working in real time in Unreal Engine. Uh, well, I, I, I could just export as Alembic, but then it would be a bit heavy and I might get in trouble and all that. So I need to optimize it in a way. So uh, I could uh, try and keep the topology uh, constant and if I use a time shift. The time shift, uh, I just put it at uh, a constant frame so it doesn't keep changing. So now uh, it doesn't change with the time. I, I'll remesh one uh, that frame and then snap to all the other frames. Uh, I'll use, uh, I could use minimum position. You could also use ray, the ray node but uh, minimum position is faster. So you could do that. But now I have another problem. Because if you see here, as, as the animation goes on and I'm trying to snap the first frame to like the 40, 40th frame, see like it, now the animate, the smoke is somewhere else. Like it's, it's here, but uh, the first frame was here and it's trying to snap all the way over there. Like it, it's not gonna reach that far. It's not, it doesn't make sense. Like how can this part here know, or like this part, this point here, how can it know that I should be here right now? It, it, it doesn't work. So we have to do it in a way that each time it, it changes, I'll, I'll use the result to snap to the next uh, uh, frame. Not using the first frame to snap to all the frames. I need to use the first frame to snap to the second and then it's the second to snap to the third and the third to snap. This way, this way it'll work. So I'll use this, this, uh, method, this technique, uh, this idea, uh, yeah, remesh and yeah, minimum position and uh, you use relax uh, to uh, kind of relax the points uh, along the, the other uh, frame. Okay. And then smooth then. Yeah. Uh, so if, if I do this once and then I do it again, but I, I'm using the result of the first one, not the and then another one. Uh, yeah. So, so you see, you see the idea here, like I'll keep doing this, but, but the problem is that I have like 64 frames. I'm not going to keep doing like this, then that, and then that. So I, I need another idea. Uh, I need to automate this, uh, exporting, importing thing. And I, I did that with a Python script. Now that I have a simulation that I'm happy with, I just need to fix the topology. So let's use this tool. I'll show you how we could use it. Go in here, just copy and paste it in here. In, in a Python source editor, hit apply. And type who dot session dot the name of the script and then hit enter. And now it should do the exporting. 64 frames, go in here and then grab it. Hit play, and there. 
all you need to do is change the file directory so the this under variables this is all you need to worry about the rest is just copy and paste uh, yeah so here change the directory the place where you have this lovely simulation and then the other one is where you want to put it the output the export part then how many frames do you have and the remesh size let's try another remesh size i'll put it to 0 0.2 okay and I'll, all i need to do is first i'll delete the current one the uh, because i just exported it and this is the network it will create. I'll delete it, apply, and run it again. You see it's doing the thing. Going 330 frames, 40, 70, 50. It's pretty fast. Yeah, and now we have some more detail. Let's go back in here. This is the new file. There, yeah. And there you have it, constant topology One last thing I need to go through is the uh, textures. How, how can we export uh, this as a flat texture? So if you just add a few lights first, you, know, you, you export this uh, lab texture sheet, you'll get a, a bunch of frames, like a, a series of frames, but then uh, to uh, put them all in one atlas, you could uh, do that with a mosaic. The mosaic node needs to be at frame one in order to work. So it, it'll pack all of your frames in one whole big uh, flipbook. And then you export and do whatever you want in uh, Substance Designer. Then when you, whenever you're done with that, put it in Unreal Engine. Just cop just copy and paste all of this. And now we can change the color. One one last part is uh, how would you export as uh, vertex animation textures? There. Yeah. Drops. Just specify which frames. Whenever, whenever you export, you get this file with all the details. You copy and paste all these details in here with the position map as well.